Thursday, January 14th, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. But if not, we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image that thou hast set up. Daniel 3, 16-18 Are we conformists or non-conformists? These three young Hebrews were faced with a difficult choice, either worship Nebuchadnezzar's image or die. It would not have been difficult for them to rationalize. Everybody else is doing it, or God looks at our hearts and we are really not bowing down there. Or we're in this mess because our forefathers disobeyed God, so why should we suffer because of their failures? If such thoughts occurred to them, the scripture doesn't say so. What comes across loud and clear is their simple resolve. We will not bow down to the gods of Babylon. Sometimes we make our obedience and faithfulness to God contingent upon how well he answers our prayers. Like the soldier in the foxhole who prays, Lord, bring me through this war and I'll serve you the rest of my life. Not so these three young stalwarts. They believed that God was able to deliver them from the fiery furnace, but they would trust him even if he didn't. As nonconformists, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into a burning, fiery furnace. There the Lord preserved them through the entire ordeal and even walked with them in it. The only thing that burned up were the ropes that bound them. I believe we can enjoy the same experience when we choose to please the Lord rather than conforming to the world system of Satan. We are set free from the ropes with which that system would bind us. We experience the truth of John 8:36. If therefore the Son shall set you free, ye shall be really free. Grant W. Steibel.